Welcome back to Alma, Missouri. Massive shout out to Lewis, who sent me a Missouri mug for Christmas. Thank you very much. Episode 13, with me, Mr. Silly P. We're back on Alma, and I've got a list as long as my arm of jobs that need doing. Um, we have sorted out the butter, but the ice cream can't be removed. So the company that installed the cooler have reimbursed us for the ice cream. 23 um, pallets at 1,650 per pallet, which is what they're going for at the moment. 37,950. But I've also just leased a piece of equipment that we're going to need later on as well. So we're up to 190 grand. This is going to go. We're going to be getting sheep today. And I'm going to be cutting alfalfa. Or making it into hay. I am going to be mowing it, not swathing it. And we're going to store it in a silo. So I'm going to put a silo. It should match up with these. Here. So demolish, build. Um, what will happen is then any butter that we produce. Strawberry ice cream is still being produced here. But that's being set to sell now. So any strawberry ice cream we produce, that's going to sell. I wanted to put it onto a, a train. Send it off to Sedalia. But unfortunately, the way this has panned out can't do a lot about it so gone uh we might put something else on here for the time being i'll leave this as it is if we do build something else i'm not sure what we might put on there but over here then we need to place our silo so there we go 5004 and it matches up really nicely with the silos we've already got around this building so we'll be storing our hay in that. It is a multi-fruit silo, but we're going to use it as a hayloft. That's kind of the purpose behind it. Again, we'll do a little bit of landscaping around it just to match the gravel up and stuff. But we're up against the fence. We're all good. We're going to need a livestock trailer to bring our sheep over. I'll probably do that at the very end. Uh, so the butter, before the butter melts, <laughs> we have an absolute disaster on our hands. We need to get this over to the store. I need to buy lime. I've taken the liberty with one of my other tractors that had all of the um, fertiliser in the spreaders. I've unloaded all the fertiliser, you'll see that on the ground, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a load of bags of lime. It's all over there on the floor. Um, we're going to put lime in that. But I'm going to take the butter first. Whoa, that nearly went over. Um, I'll probably leave the trailer up there. This hasn't got a rear trailer hitch, has it? No. And I'll pick up... Oh no, I need the trailer, don't I? Oh, I'm going to have to go backwards and forwards, that's alright. Um, what I've got is part of, it's the Field Creator stuff. Um, manufactured by TF2020. And it's a cultivator, but it should allow us to create fields, so it should allow us to plough. I think that's how it works. It cost me six grand to lease, so <laughs> fingers crossed it works. Um, so we're going to lime and we're going to um, plow our field that had all the carrots on and our field that had the corn on what I'm also going to do is blend those two fields together so if we go to our map this field here 9 and 4 we're going to bring the plow around and we're going to blend that into one larger field I don't know if I'm going to plant it yet or seed or sow or you know, I haven't decided we'll get onto that later on I've got another bailing contract. I, it was suggested by, and I've forgotten the person's name. It was a message I received a few days ago. It was over Christmas. Um, and I was kind of skimming through messages. And it was regarding the um, ultimate mowing and bailing pack. The rear mower. Because I think I had the hitch on either low ball or three point. And they've said to put it on high pin high pin and then it should attach no problem I shouldn't need that that um, that bar to go in between the trailer attacher support I shouldn't need that apparently um, I, I will give it a go I'll try, I'm, I'm sure I went through all the options but potentially not so I'll give it a go but actually as it stands I need three point because I'm gonna be making hay so we're gonna be mowing wind rowing at the same time and then um, yeah, making hay. So, the, all the butter I was concerned about not being here, that trailer just wants to go, doesn't it? Just wants to tip. There we go. Let's get our butter in. Don't tell me that's filled. And I've now got that sat there. 
You're having a giraffe, son, aren't you? Have a word. Yeah, it is. Look, the butter's flickering. <laughs> okay. We've got 500 litres of cornbread already being produced, which is great. Um, our corn dryer is working, so we're drying down corn. That will go over into our um, grain mill. And we'll make the, the fine corn flour. And yeah, we'll look at what recipes are available. So what I might do is... Can I pick those up now? Because there's not much on them. It's not going to let me, is it? I thought because they were almost empty. No. I might have to reset the trailer. If I reset the trailer, then the pallets will drop on the floor. Or for the time being, they'll... Uh, they'll do their thing. Now, I've got to remember. Yeah, so this is what I've gone for. And it is, like I say, it's part of the field creator stuff. Um, we'll give it a go. Because I thought it would be something different to use, which I haven't really used before, the field creator pack. The other thing I had an option of was these mega plows, which I used on... I can't remember now. What did I use them on? Silver Run? One of these? Could at least one of those. I used that last time, but I thought we'll go for something a little bit bigger and we'll give it a go. Um, but we also need to do, if we go into our menu here, go to our big bags. There we go. Lime, 8,000 litres for 1,200. We're going to get... I don't know how many of these I'm going to need, actually. That's 32,000 litres. I'm probably going to get through all that. They're very big fields, aren't they? How much is that? 4,800, 40,000 litres, 48,000 litres, 7,200. I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy it all. And then we'll get the trailer over, we'll get that loaded on, we'll get that over. Do I do the lime first, then the ploughing? Doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure both fields need liming. Let's just double check that. Uh, right, they both need ploughing, we know that. Turn that off. They both need lime. Yep, okay. I'm just thinking, if I lime first, then plough, I'm ploughing the lime in. If it allows me to. Sometimes it acts really weird and it won't. Um, right, so, yeah. Loads to be doing. I need to lease an animal trailer. Oh, now I've got the lorry, actually. I can go for the bigger animal trailer, can't I? That's good, we can do that. Actually, the other thing I can do while we're here, because um, the store has recently got itself um, a, what's the word a forklift truck so we can use the forklift truck to pick those bags up and put them onto the trailer so we're going to use the forklift which is just here Lights on. Can I get through two sets? Maybe. Cool. Right, we'll get those loaded up in a moment to get that back so they don't fall off. Excellent, right. Come on, all you naysayers. I use forks, I use forklifts. It's not all big bag handlers. I've been trying a lot more to do this. I 
I'll get this over. We'll get the loan spreader loaded. We'll get the loan done. I want to try and get all these jobs done. Been on my list for a while. Now the carrots all out the ground. Perfect. Actually, we'll probably leave this round the back here. It makes more sense now, doesn't it? Just that will do. Lights off, beacon off, engine off. Jibbity job to right. Straps on. Let's get the line back. 48,000 litres of it. Oh, we've got some more corn flour. We'll keep moving stuff around as we need to. Actually, I could just set that to distributing, couldn't I? That should go straight to the bakery. Is that the only place that requires it? I'm pretty sure it is. As I'm heading back, I think I've just made a mistake. I'm pretty sure the field crater pack isn't a plough. I'm pretty sure it just uses the fact it, it still cultivates but it will allow you to create a field using a cultivator. So I don't think using that, I'm gonna be able to plow my fields. It will allow me to create the gaps between the two. I'll have to try it. If not, I'll just have to lease a plow. I just suddenly had a horrible thought. There you go, there's all our fertilizer. <laughs> right, straps off. Hopefully we can get close enough to this. We went for the 10,000 on the back, 2,200 on the front. It will give us a bit, again, like I said, I, I could go bigger. Um, it's, it's one of those things um, I, I seem to get anyway, regardless of what I do, and even if I explain what I'm doing. Um, people will say, why didn't you use this piece of equipment? Why didn't you use that piece of equipment? I use this piece of equipment. And that's fine. You know, I don't mind people me saying, look, I use this. Because there's often times I think, I forgot about that. Or, yeah, I, I remember now that's in the motto. Like with this, Dozer John said, why don't you use that one at the Kubota pack? Because it's got a larger capacity. Um, if you're going to use one anyway, use one with a larger capacity. Um, and it's the same with anything. Just because I'm using this or a combination like this, there are so many mods in the mod hub, so many options available. It doesn't mean I, I wouldn't or don't want to or... That's weird, I thought this did lime as well. Does it not? I could have sworn I'd use this for lime before. I think I can lift these bags by hand, can't I? Let's put that down there. Will that come up? Hang on. No. Well, I'll be. I thought... How bizarre. Why did I have it in my... I'm sure I've used that for lime before. Maybe I haven't. And, uh, planters... Oh no, seed and solid fertiliser, not lime. Oh. Okay, it'll be 8,000 litres at a time. I'll, I'll leave it on the front there because I can use it as a weight. That's not a problem, let's lift that. Right. I might bring that trailer out to the field actually. Whoa, those weeds have gone a bit bonkers, haven't they? It's interesting though, because if I got weeds, I didn't think I had weeds turned on. What was I saying? Um, I thought I had weeds turned off. Oh no, weeds on. Oh no. So, where are we? These fields here. If I turn that off, that off. That's odd. There's my weeds.
It's not showing any growth of weeds. Weeds growing. Huh? Well, I'm going to plough it anyway, so... What do I care? <laughs> So I'll get the liming done across the whole lot. Then I'll get that. Like I say I'll bring it over. I'm not sure it's going to work. If it doesn't, I'll grab a plough. We'll get this ploughed. Um, then I'll get the alfalfa cut and hayed. We'll do it all in one pass. And we'll get the sheep over. We've got quite a few productions running now, all sorts of stuff going on, aren't we? Yeah, we are going to get through, I reckon, what did I buy, 48,000 litres? I reckon we're going to use all that, I might need some more. I might extend a little bit wider in a few places where I can. Just streamline it a little bit, smooth it out a little bit here and there maybe. Missed a couple of bits, not the end of the world. Okay, so in the uh, in the interest of getting as much of the jobs done, or as, as much as much work as many of the jobs done as I wanted to, I will see you when the liming is done, and uh, I'll let you know if I had to buy some more. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. All done, 12 minutes past 11. I had to go and buy one extra bag. And I've got 5,764 litres left of that bag. So, liming is done. I have taken the liberty, I was so panicky. Um, I have taken the liberty of bringing the cultivator out, which will allow me to create fields as well. It's looking like it's been cultivated. It's putting the stones back in, and this is the beauty of this. Rather than ploughing, which will bring up bigger stones, is pushing the stones. I assume if there are any, if there's any stones on there. We'll see when we get on to the next field. But if I go to the map and look down there, that little section there, it's taking off the needs ploughing. So it is registering that it's ploughing. If we keep going a little bit further. It's not the widest thing ever, but what I'm going to do when we get to here, if I turn allow create fields, swing that out a little bit. I've just suddenly realised actually by doing this, that bit won't have been limed, will it? I suppose we can always go back over. So not only am I going to join the fields together we can expand it a little bit we've got a little bit of wiggle room here and there not you know i want to leave a bit of a gap all the way around i would say for hired workers but it makes no difference does it the gap that was already here for the hired worker it made no odds if we go to the map and have a look there we go look it's all clearing so it is working excellent stuff <laughs> so we'll have this limed and ploughed Then I'll come over and I'll get my first fertilising state on it. And then we'll get something in it. But that'll be later, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it yet. I haven't quite decided that little bit yet. Oh, hang on. Missed a bit. I 
ったら Very pleased. Yeah, what I'll have to do is I'll set the lime spreader on its narrowest setting. I'll just go around the edges, just tidy up those little bits. You watch me go around and then I'll, I'll run out again. But I'd rather have none left and have a little bit that hasn't been limed than have a load sitting there, which I can use it next time a field needs doing, of course, but... Keep going until we get to the uh, the crossover. Oh, can we get too close? When we do the crossover as well, there's a there's a ridge, a, a deep bit. Um, I don't want to go into that, so we'll, I'll have to be careful where I join the two fields together. I, mean, I could leave them as two separate fields, there's not much between them, but... And in, in all honesty, if you've done a field and you have made it into one big field, there is nothing to stop you planting two different crops in the same field. If you do intercropping, um, they'll often plant two crops side by side, in strips. So you might have corn and soybean right next to each other. If you've got an eight-row planter, 12-row planter, you might do 12 of one, 12 of another, right the way across the field. So it's like, you know, strips. That'd be an interesting thing to do. It might make a big difference in-game because yield is yield, but it would look pretty cool, wouldn't it? So what we'll do here swing it around ah oh, right yeah the stones are already on this field it's not going to do anything with but that's alright not too bothered well I think when we roll it that'll probably put those back in won't it after we've done seeding it will get rolled so it does, I'm pretty sure, and this is one of those things again, I've never really actually tested it, and it's one of those things that, because damage on a vehicle takes a long period of time, and you'll get damage anyway, the stones, if you've got stones left in the field and you use cedars and things like over it, it's supposed to speed up the damage or increase the amount of damage, more wear and tear on your vehicle. Again, it's not something I've ever actually tested, but anyway. Yeah. You know the drill. Let's check, make sure we're still going great. We are. Awesome. I'll see you when the field's ploughed. The field is done, it's ploughed. I'm going round the edges. I've gone round all the edges where it needs liming on the thickest sections first. And I'm going to do that until I run out, which I'm nearly going to, I'm going to, well, I'm almost out now. I won't make it all the way around, and I haven't done the other field. So we go back to our map. It now looks like that. So it is all ploughed. So it's not saying re requires lime, doesn't require ploughing. Um, and all that, like I say, all that thick section now has been done. The thin bit round the outside of there, the only bit I didn't do was that little thick section there and that little bit there, but... I'm not going to go and buy another full bag of lime just to do that little bit. So, that's that bit done. What we'll do is... Turn the window off. We're going to go over to the livestock market. Uh, pick up the trailer that I've leased. Um, which one did I lease? Uh, one of the... Is it an MAN one? I can't remember now. Did I use it before when I did move the cows? I might have done. 
Is that a potato or is that a carrot? That's another potato, isn't it? Yours. And um, yeah, we'll get the. Uh... Actually, I can load these back up again now, can't I? Because it's going to need fertilising. All good. I'll get the sheep over. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think the trailer I've got does 22. Um, and I can't remember how many the actual um, the sheep pen holds. So what I'll do, I'll just... Um, I might do 66, maybe. I'll have a look. I can't remember. And then it'll be on to getting the hay sorted. Let's close that. Switch to the back. So I'll see you probably on the way back. I'm not sure what sheep I'm going to go for yet. I haven't decided. I don't often do black sheep. Black or brown? I don't know. We'll have a look. This has done the same thing again for some weird reason. When I've unloaded it, it's unloaded some full and some tiny little amounts, which is really weird because it was, it was all in the, the back of this. I don't think it was a full, it wasn't a full 10,000 litres, but it seems odd. Yeah, that was, so what have these got in them? These should all be a thousand, 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 thousand. I'm not sure why all the others were weird amounts, anyway. What time is it? Just gone 12 o'clock? We are here, the first of three loads. Yeah, what one did I go for? RM24 APA. I'm sure I used this one before, didn't I? And I think we're going to go for Black Welsh Mountain. Because that's the, that's the sort of generic, that's what a sheep looks like, you know, in game. They stand out better and that kind of thing, you know, for thumbnails and that kind of thing. You always want the, you know, the bougie-looking sheep or the bougie-looking, the ones that stand out more. <laughs> so I'm going to go Black Welsh Mountain. Why not? Then we're going to go for 22. So I'm going to do three loads. So that'll give us a 66. Um, like I said, I'm not quite sure how many the... Uh... Are we in there? I think we've got some faces in there. Take them back. Get them unloaded, and then we'll sort out feed. Because as far as I'm aware, these ones only... I'm sure that pen note says they only take hay. Because normally I would just do grass and... But, as I said, if I'm doing total mix ration, I've got a load of hay bales, I've got a load of silage bales, and then when we get onto a crop where... I'm, you know, if I get any harvests where I can do a straw swath, I might do that, you know where I get to take the straw off the field from the farmer because they're not going to use it, so I get to use it. Um, even if I don't use it for time, it's ration, I need it for bedding for the cows. I have got a load of straw, but it doesn't hurt to have plenty, you know. So I might as well make it into hay. If I can do it all in one pass anyway, using my mowing rig, then I'll do it. I am going to lease um, probably the TARDIS forage wagon. There's a new one in that as well. It's like that, that pack's been updated so many times now. And that's got a big old auger wagon in it as well. And I think the auger wagon takes almost everything. Um, it's a really nice sized trailer. I didn't actually look at what the price was. But I was thinking of maybe the trailer we did buy. What did we get? A Brantner? I know we've just bought the one for this the semi. But um, I think we might upgrade to one of those at some point. That's the plan, anyway. So we'll get there with these. I'll put the first load in. For the next two loads, I'll do we'll do off camera just so you know, I've done them. Um, I won't switch over that attachment on the uh, mower, the rear mower now, because like I said, I need to do hay, so I need a three point on it. But I'm going to try that. Because I've got um, I've got one silage baling contract um, that pays eight thousand, 
So I'll try it with that and see if we can get it to work. Whoa. Into the yard of dreams. Pumpkin are all just set to sell now, so... Actually, I don't know why I left the telehandler there. It doesn't need to be, does it? That that feels empty now. I mean, it feels empty. It is empty. The building's gone. But I need I need something in its place. The other thing I was said about was soy drink, wasn't it? I should be able to make soy drink over here, and I haven't moved any soy over. been doing so many other jobs. Now, where's the trigger? It's around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. That was a bit of luck, wasn't it? Uh, 300 we can put in there. So we'll select those. 22, move to husbandry. In we go. Oh, look at that. Very happy. Go and get the next load. Right, got a forage wagon leased, 50,000 litre. I bought over the telehandler. Oh, we've got another butter there. If that butter melts. We have freshly buttered sheep. Um, but what I did, because if I go into my menu, and we go to here, on the right hand side it says grass 100% for feed. So I thought, well, I better check. So I grabbed one of my alfalfa bales I've already got because that's for bales and that's I put in and it took it so the alfalfa it took it as grass the, the alfalfa hay bale so I'm going to do hay anyway like I said it, it doesn't matter what's interesting with this pen this is what I've just noticed how weird is that that you've got a fence and gate here does that oh there we go I was going to say that's wide open Sure, they can get out, but that's because I left it wide open. <laughs> I thought it came like that, but apparently not. Right, so alfalfa hay. Let's go. Switch to the front and follow that. Ah, oh, now this was the problem I had before, wasn't I? Well, wasn't I? Wasn't it? But it was cutting the other grass and it was making a mess. Someone said I should put a boundary around the outside. Or cut the other grass first. Mm, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Turn that on. Drop that. Turn that on. Drop that. Turn that on. Will it do it like that? There we go. Any bits I miss around the edge, I will come and tidy up. Should do alright out of this because <coughs> once the alfalfa started to grow after that debacle, we were absolutely fine after that. But we should get a fair bit, and that's going to be going in for the sheep, and then it will be to uh, put into our what we're going to consider a hayloft. Any bits I miss, I'll come back and tidy up. That's not a problem. The 
weird thing is, I know this is... This, we've said this before about the physics in-game, how, how well it works, how your mind connects to it, is that normally you kind of sail through whatever it is you're doing. This feels like it's struggling. It feels like the crop is thick. And that's... It's, bizarre, it's hard to explain, isn't it? But it really does. Which is incredible when you think about it. I'll do the first strip round, um, and then I'll grab the the, um, the trailer, no, the forage wagon, and we'll at least get them fed. They've got 6,500 litres in there at the moment, which is fine, that starts them off, but I'd rather make sure they're well fed, and we can start putting some in the silo. Be curious to see on one spin round the block, how much we've got, plus I've got alfalfa out the front by the greenhouses, because that plow there that was just um, what I consider meadow grass. I ploughed that up if you, if you recall and I planted alfalfa in that as well so we have got some more out in front. So no shortage and then once it's all off the field I'll then re... Um, I might lime this actually because it does require lime. I might give it a bit of a going over with lime and then we'll fertilise it again because all this will do is knock it back to its first fertilising state and then we'll go again. the other way for the bit I missed. And the same for any corner bits. Turn it on. always round so right what we'll do is lift that to that lift that to that okay turn that off actually I probably should go and get the other tractor I'm just don't know if that's got enough horsepower actually I might I'll give it a go we can. We don't have to put the feed in. If you're doing bales, you can put it in the, the ring. If not, there's a tipping point in here. So we'll do that first. But my other one of these, this is the, the uh, turbo super duper one. Uh, but I've got my standard one just over here. So let's go and grab that wagon. Get the first load in. And um, once that's in, that's my list of jobs for today. That's what I wanted to get done. I wanted to get the, um, the cooling building demolished. I wanted to get the silo put up, I wanted to get liming done, ploughing done, that's done, and mix the, the two fields together. I wanted to get the animals in, hay produced, and then fed. I'm quite pleased that we've got all of it done, actually. I'm looking at this thinking that is alfalfa hay that is normal although it does say that's a different colour so I'm concerned now if I pick up one is it going to not then pick up the rest because it has done grass 
I was sort of bouncing between the two. I had this problem before, didn't I? And I was losing loads. Showing is all alfalfa, so fingers crossed. That's just tractors doing fine. I have to say. The yield. That's weird. Why has it done that? It's not showing it. It's, um... Hmm, that's peculiar. Should get a fair bit. Let's try and keep that between the wheels. Like I said, any bits like that I can come around and clean up later on. Go a little bit wide to make sure the trailer stays in between. good it's good it's a good yield yep we can hit our limit before we've done one complete circuit that's good boom a bit that I missed. Come on, you can do it. And let's get it in. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, although the trailer's showing empty, that's peculiar. Will that fit under there? I don't think it will. Oh, it's let me do it there. Okay, fair enough. How much do they take? Fifty thousand, which means the last little bit can go in here. Now, let's see what happens here. I think it will lose it, won't it? Yeah, regular first, then on to alfalfa. Okay. Well, I've got an absolute load to collect. I'm curious to see just how much we're going to get off of it, you know. So that first run round, and we haven't even completed the run round, 50,000 litres, and then we got what well, we got another 20 on top. So, first run round, potentially 70,000, 71,000 litres. Then it's 73. I reckon I get this wrong every time, though, don't I? What do you reckon? 400,000? And then the field at the front? Maybe! 
But that I will tell you on the next episode because I've just realised what time it is. It's getting on here. Um, but like I said, I've got all the jobs done that I intended to do. I'm very pleased with what we've achieved. We've now got sheep so we can have some buttered wool. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, if you are, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>